What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we have the Madden 22 top 5 basically quarterbacks in the game. Now we've gotten the ratings already for the real rosters of course but that doesn't help us in terms of Mutt right because Lamar Jackson could be 95 overall in regular rosters but in Mutt he could be one of the highest or lowest quarterback overalls right. He does make the top 5 as you can see here clearly by the screenshot but nonetheless guys I'm gonna go through the top 5 some of the you know the um the archetypes kind of the stuff you can expect to get with them whether or not they're a day one kind of guy especially when you're getting brady mahomes for free at least most of you are now to get into this guys before we do hit that subscribe button we're trying to get to 23k as quickly as possible so if you guys are new hit that subscribe button every few helps so if you guys stick around please do uh like the video of course can we get 30 likes in this video every like does help the channel proceed and grow so every like you guys can give that great i'd greatly appreciate that as well and of course Comment down below. Let me know who's your favorite quarterback and who you're rocking with day one. Let's start with Lamar Jackson. 83 overall, Lamar Jackson on the Ravens. 86 speed, 83 throw power, 80 short accuracy, 75 medium accuracy, 75 deep accuracy, 80 throw under pressure, 82 throw in the run, and 86 play action. Personally, he's not going to cut it for me day one. Uh, in older Maddens, that speed was game breaking and you would just abuse it. But in recent Maddens, I've, you were kind of more focused on accuracy, at least the last two we have been. So that's definitely changing things a little bit. No medium accuracy threshold. No no, no throwing thresholds at all. He's going to be horrible at throwing off the rip. Last year, he was a bit better at throwing, so I made up for it. But this year, he's just horrible at throwing. So I would highly recommend, you know, go his way. Now, if you're a Ravens team team or you're going to have a run-heavy option offense, that's different. But... The throw power is only 83. The speed's only an 86, which again, it's faster at the beginning, but I have seen faster quarterbacks start off like Lamar last year. I'm pretty sure it was a bit faster. Could be wrong though. But either way, I don't think his speed's game breaking enough to make up for the lack of accuracy to start the year, especially with how clunky the game felt. Then we have the next screenshot. We have Russell Wilson, 85 overall in the Seahawks. Again, Russell Wilson typically, if you like gave Lamar a little bit more, if you gave Lamar more throwing and then a little bit more throw power, but then took away speed. It's always like how they build Russell Wilson. They never make him fast enough to be a dual threat quarterback, but they never make him accurate enough to be a pocket quarterback. He's like, he's somewhere between Lamar and Rodgers. Like, somewhere between there, you know what I mean? Like, on, on top tier versus, like, best runner versus best passer. Somewhere between there. And it's never good enough to be anything. 75 speed is nothing, right? I'd rather have Mahomes at that point. 75 speed is nothing at all in terms of being able to break the game with your speed. 84 throw power is decent that's average or make lamar on his 83 um 82 short 82 medium 83 deep again that's like a regular basically quarterback doesn't stand out none of those are gonna be threshold 85 play action no one really does play actions 85 throw on the runs good 83 throw on the pressure personally i will not be using russell wilson in this madden probably once again unless he gets like one of those crazy like october december thanksgiving cards one of those but basically wise you won't be rocking with him also, a few things I do want to go over within this video here for you guys is going to be pretty pretty quick and simple. There was a few questions that were asked and a few things that were answered, right? So question number one, do team captains get all team chemistries? Although it seems pretty obvious, a lot of people were asking that, and I guess it is a fair question. So yes, Cam Chancellor, Lance Allworth, um, Jack Youngblood. Sorry, guys, I've been up since 5 a.m. for Yeezy Day. I'm a little tired here. But all of them, you know, all the team captains, all the four of them, and the Cam Chancellor all do get the team chemistry so i can put them on the cowboys the giants so that means you can put them on any theme team which is cool because it would suck to have cam as only a seahawk or whatever and then you can't go ahead and put them on your giants team team and it's a waste right so it makes sense are there still physical chemistries like sprinter brawler and all that stuff right no the only chemistry player items have are their team chemistry options however strategy items have the ability to boost physical attributes like speed so yes in essence yes there's still physical chemistries it's just going to go on the team strategy cards right so they should have just said that but so I, it's not yet. It's not currently on there, but Kralo did pretty much say there will be something like Sprinter later in the year, or maybe there won't be, but there's going to be, it says here speed, right? So that's going to be it. Uh, it'll be built right into it. So it kind of does suck. I was hoping they'd get rid of speed chem so that we'd be able to just kind of chill and pick up cards for what they're worth these days that have to factor in that every card you get add two to it plus the power up, right? But still cool. And then do EA play pro members on PC get the full game on August 12th? Yes, they do, which is what you guys kind of assume. By the way, August 12th is my birthday. Just my luck, it lands on my birthday, so it's kind of messing up my birthday, but I got to record for you guys, right? It is what it is. So yeah, that's the chemistry stuff. That pretty much covers everything we need to go over there. And then, of course, guys, in the video as well with the quarterbacks I go over, um, Lamar was an improviser. Russell Wilson was an improviser. Tom Brady was a field general. Mahomes was an improviser, and I'm pretty sure Aaron Rodgers is a strong arm or he's a field general as well. 
or an improviser. I'm, I'm, I didn't, I don't think they, they didn't specify that one on stream, but point is, remember that for the abilities. Next, we have Aaron Rodgers, typically one of the better upgrades in the game. Like when he gets his next card, he has a top rating in the game. He's typically dominant because he has one of the fastest releases in the game. 90. Here's the thing though, right? 69 speed. Aaron Rodgers is a little bit more mobile than that, but again, it's only a base league card. I mean, in the past, he's gotten like 78, 72, 75s, making him a little bit slower. But his throwing's good, right? 85 throw power is good. Like I said, Lamar was decent, 83. Russell Wilson slightly decent, slightly above decent. I'd say Aaron Rodgers is now slightly above average. Um, I don't think it's that. Oh, I don't. I don't think 85 throw power is all that great either. But it's definitely better than the rest. 87 short is really good because with the lead pass, you'll get that up above 90. 82 medium. 87 deep is really good. 86 throw under pressure. 86 throw under the run. And then play action again. Going to be mainly mid-high 80s across the board. Aaron Rodgers is always going to be a great card, but we know this. Next, you have Tom Brady. Tom Brady is going to be one of the worst starting quarterbacks, from, in my opinion, to start the year for a few reasons. And, account, of course, he's going to be a great passing quarterback, but the throw power is not great. And here's the thing. We don't get Gunslinger yet, really, this early in the year. So the throw power is going to make a big difference from quarterback to quarterback, for the most part. So... 50 speed, right? The reason I like Rodgers usually more, not this year, or I like Mahomes, because they have enough speed to still move. Like, if they if they have an open lane to take off, like, there's days where you, you're on the sideline, right? You're sitting there, or the puck collapses, or they're, they're putting everyone in coverage, and you just look, and you're like, wow, I have, like, at least 10 yards. Easy. You take off a Brady, by hitting RT, it's going to initiate everyone to come, come attack him, and he does not get anywhere. You get an 89 short, 88 medium, will be threshold with elite passer. 84 deep will not. He can't throw on the run. He has no speed, and his throw power sucks. So overall, he's just a, he's a short medium expert, which is kind of not the way Madden's usually played. Um, and of course, when you see Brady there, it's like, okay, that's easy. I don't got to contain anymore. I don't got to do this. It makes it a little bit easier. And finally, for the top quarterback in Madden 22, which we all knew was Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, just at first glance, right? All the stats are pretty much high 80, which is already an improvement on Brady. And then he also has better speed. So they did actually lower his speed more than I would have expected as well. And I guess they're just doing that this year in general with some of these guys. But he's looking solid. 71 speed is enough where if you see a hole, you can take it. Not You're not going to be able to take it 30 yards. You're not going to be able to run, a, run around an end. But if you see like an open hole or there's only two guys rushing or it's a, it's a weak rush, you take it. 88 throw power. That's great. That's three better than Rodgers. That is going to be elite throw power to start the year. Unless you get like an early Dan Marino again or like a Steve Young or one of those, you know, bigger arm quarterbacks off the bat. 88 short accuracy. Going to be a short expert just like... Brady is, except he has he could throw it harder because again, short routes with an 83 throw power still kind of hard. 84 mediums where he struggles a bit, but I I suspect with a power up and maybe a leap passer tiered up, he could maybe get that to a 90 as well. And then again with a leap passer, I think he can get deep. So he'll have all three throwing thresholds, which make him a better throwing quarterback than Brady with a better throw power and a better speed. It's a no-brainer. 87 throwing the pressure is insane to start the year again. 89 throwing the runs really good, powered up. There'll be a 90, so you're gonna be like threshold already. 87 play action. I don't really care about play action, but it's there, right? I think overall, you have to compare them. I don't think Lamar is a good starting day one quarterback. I don't think Russell Wilson's a good one. I don't think about Brady is. I think it's going to be Mahomes and Rodgers as your two guys. And Rodgers is more if you don't pre-order the game. Otherwise, I mean, guys, I mean, we're going to free Mahomes day one with the power up. And literally, he's the best quarterback in the game. The only guy that's the only way Mahomes gets taken out is two ways. Superstar MVP is going to drop, right? Right away, pretty much. Either at launch night or off the bat, but probably launch night on the 20th around there. So, the only way we get a better one is like last year. We got a Lamar Jackson Super MVP right off the bat. Unless we had some crazy quarterback there. And he probably has to be mobile. I mean, quite honestly. The only thing that would take him over the top as a passer would be that he could, they come with abilities. Uh, and that could be big if it comes to like Gunslinger or something. Like, that would be crazy. But other than that, if it's not that or a legend quarterback, like a Marino off the bat or someone that's a great passer with like, you know, um, Conductor or, you know, Hot Route Master or Gunslinger, Mahomes going to be the top quarterback at least to start the game. So yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and of course, comment down below who's your favorite. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.